Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SAP with IK. Hope you're all doing good. So today's topic is on the production process in the alternate plant. So this process mainly describes about the creation and execution of the process orders or the production orders between two different plants. So in this slide, you can see that we have two plants, right? So 1000 is the planning plant and 1100 is the manufacturing plant. So these two plants are under the same uh, company code. But here, the planning or the creation of uh, the process orders or the production orders is completely managed uh, by the planning plant, which is 1000 here. But whereas... Once these production orders, the process orders have been created, these will be sent to the manufacturing plant. So in this uh, manufacturing plant 1100, so there are no planning activities uh, taken care of. So they just uh, follow the instructions provided in the process or the production orders. So the planning parameters or the uh, complete planning of the uh, finished product will be done in the 1000 plant. When the consumption, the production, that will happen completely in the 1100 plant. So once the finished good has been manufactured, so they will ship this uh, finished product back to the planning plant, which is 1000. So let's see in SAP, uh, what are the prerequisites and how does this process basically work? So here I'm in SAP. Let me take uh, an example for that. I'm going to the transaction MD04. So here, uh, the example that we're going to use today is uh, the API, and that is the material code. So here in 1000, which is basically the planning plant, let's see what uh, parameters do we have here. So if I go to the material master, so we are just using the general uh, parameters in MRP1 view. And whereas if you go to the MRP2 view, we are going to create a special procurement key here. So this special procurement key 80, it basically it defines which is the manufacturing plant for this material API. So let me show you the configuration here uh, for the special procurement key 80. So let's go to OPPQ. So here we have the uh, plant parameters it's for 1000. And the special procurement key. So this is the special procurement key 80. So here in this configuration, we have basically uh, defined that the 80 special procurement key it holds the manufacturing plant as 1100. And here the special procurement type should be as P. This basically defines that the production of this particular material will happen in an alternate plant. So make sure that you have enabled the special procurement uh, as P and also you have to provide the manufacturing plant which will take care of its actual manufacturing process. So once the configuration has been completed for this special procurement key, then we are going to assign it into the material master in the MRP2 view. That's it. So no other uh, configuration or no other uh, master data is basically needed here. So he, one thing to remember here is uh, we do not actually uh, need to have the bill of materials or the uh, routings being created in the planning plant. Why? Because the manufacturing plant anyway is going to be 1100. So we just need to create the material code here and the rest of the master data that will be part of the manufacturing plant, which is 1100. Okay. So I'm going back. So let's see the uh, master data setup for 1100. So in 1100, if we go to the material master, so here we have nothing. We are not using the special procurement key and the procurement type, uh, it should be as uh, E, uh, which is in-house manufacturing, but X will also work. That's it. So now if we go into the production versions so this is where we define the production versions uh, for this particular 
product and in this production version we basically define the bomb and the routing right so here we have the routing and we we have the bill of material so all these parameters are basically in the manufacturing plant which is 1100 so let's uh, go into the execution process so for the first thing i am going to do is we have uh, already an open lsf but uh, the available stock has been uh, satisfied by the required quantity so i'm going to create a new one so for the month of uh, august i'm going to create add a new pir for 200 right so now we can see the second lsf so now i'm going to run mrp here itself in the planning plant mrp is done and refresh so now you can see we have a planned order created for the 200 uh, pir quantity and if you just uh, expand this column here we see the supplying plant or the receiving plant right so from the planned order itself we can see that the supplying plant for us is 1100 so we are not manufacturing this in the planning plant which is 1000 so if i open a new window and go to the md04 for the manufacturing plant for the same material here you can see that we have the same planned order that we have it in the planning plant right so in the planning plant 1000 we have the planned order 95020 so the same can be seen in the manufacturing plant as well but here you can see in the column of the planning plant it says that the planning is done by the thousand plant okay so once we have the uh, planned order created you can see that this is not part of the net requirement calculation so if the requirement or the receipt is part of the net requirement calculation so then this quantity would be updated in the available stock uh, column the available quantity column sorry so here it, it is blank it means that the complete planning activity is taken care by the planning plant which is 1000 so here we can basically convert this planned order into a process order or a production order in the production plant itself but since everything is taken care by the planning plant we are going to convert this in the planning plant itself so i'm going to convert this planned order into the process order so you can see that these two recipes are from the manufacturing plant 1100 so the data that uh, is being used here is completely from the manufacturing plant and not the planning plant so i'm going to choose one of this let's say um, i choose the second one and now the creation of the process order screen appears where you can see the manufacturing plant being as 1100 so if you go into the assignment tab so here we can see that the planning plant has been assigned as 1000 right okay so here we see that no production versions are existing that's fine so let me see what is available yeah let me choose this one the second one okay this is good now so the materials that we see here will be part of the manufacturing plant 1100 itself why because the consumption will happen there itself but in case if you like to consume these components from the planning plant or maybe a different plant let's say 1200 so for that also we have a solution by using a different special procurement key uh, for the components so that we will discuss in a, a different topic and then we have the operations so where these work centers are uh, belong to the manufacturing plant itself so we are good now so let me release this so now the order has been released and then save it so as soon as you save it we can see that the planned order has been changed into a process order that will show in the planning plant 1000 but whereas the supplying plant will still remain as the 1100 which is the manufacturing plant so if i go to the md04 of the manufacturing plant so i'm pretending to be the production uh, 
supervisor or the shop floor uh, manager for the manufacturing plant 1100 so i can review these production orders uh, that are created from the planning plant so now if i go with uh, the uh, process uh, or the execution process of the process order so everything will happen in the manufacturing plant itself so for now let's skip the goods issue and the confirmation process so we will directly go into the goods receipt process assuming that the production is completed the uh, consumption of raw metals is also done so i'm going into the uh, mego transaction and enter a few prerequisites Okay. Number of containers. Okay. So here, if you look at the where tab, it clearly says that the receiving plant is one thousand, right? Because we are not expecting to uh, stock this in the manufacturing plant. So as soon as the manufacturing is completed. The receipt will happen directly into the planning plant, which is 1000. So this is the standard procedure, like when we use the special procurement key 80. So now if I check, okay, this batch is being created, that is fine. And then post. So now the goods receipt has been completed. So let me go back to the uh, MD04 of the planning plant and then refresh. So uh, before I refresh, so here the available quantity is only 100. So we expect the stock to increase by 200 now. So you can see that the available quantity is now 300 pieces. Sorry, 300 kgs. And if I go into the MD04, so you can see that nothing has been increased uh, in the manufacturing plant and also the process order disappeared from here, right? So that is how uh, the special procurement key 80 is useful uh, in case of the production in the alternative plant scenario. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell icon to receive updates. We'll meet again soon in our next video. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.